apply all the time. The government of Uganda recognizes the weaknesses in newborn service delivery in the country and is now in the process of implementing a comprehensive package for maternal and newborn health. On the maternal side, we, had, we have what we call a maternal roadmap, which spells out where we want to go, where we are, where we want to go, and what the main focus will be on that side. The child health, we have a child survival strategy, which we have developed, and uh, it's a 15-year plan which stipulates what we want to do. And uh, in terms of the actual interventions for the newborn, we want to emphasize community household practices to prevent newborn deaths. We are going to update the integrated management of childhood illnesses uh, strategy to incorporate these uh, activities or interventions to care for the newborn and the mother. We are going to build the capacity of healthcare workers to ensure that they provide skilled labor so to improve the health of the, of the mother and also the child. These efforts will be complemented by the results of the study, which hopes to demonstrate that neonatal mortality can be significantly reduced if community health workers are trained and facilitated to provide maternal and newborn health services in their communities. One of the major achievements we hope to achieve is to demonstrate to Uganda and to other developing countries on how community health workers can be integrated within the health system for the survival of mothers and newborns. We expect to provide materials and the suggestion is on how these community health workers can be identified, can be trained, can be supervised, and can be motivated. If this is shown to work well, uh, the government, together with the development partners, could put in place measures to scale up this kind of interventions, this kind of packages, so that um, instead of uh, applying only to one area, we could start to see similar um, interventions being applied on a wide scale.